Annabelle's Wish is an adorable film. This is a Christmas animation released originally in 1997. It's directed by Roy Wilson. And it's about this little calf called Annabelle who has been given the ability to speak. Santa Claus is, of course, involved in this. And she is, um, she's born at a barn where a young boy called Billy lives. And unfortunately, because of something tragic that happened at the barn, Billy has lost his ability to speak. And here we have this beautiful friendship of Billy who can't speak and Annabelle the calf who can speak and we're not sure if they're going to be able to stay together because well Billy's uh, grandfather he owes some money and people might take the calf as payment and also Billy's aunt wants him to go and live with her and he might have to go away from the calf will they be together by the end of the film I won't say anything more than that, of course. I won't spoil it, but it's a, a really sweet narrative. Annabelle is a really likable character. And as soon as she opened her mouth, I knew she was voiced by Kath Suchi because she sounds a lot like Lil DeVille from Rugrats. So that amused me quite a bit. But Annabelle is a really beautiful character, both in terms of her personality. She's very loving. And also the animation. She is adorable. I really like the animation style here. It's really beautiful, really sweet, very easy on the eye. Billy is also a very likable child. Because he can't speak, because he's lost his voice, obviously we can't find out too much about what he is thinking through his words. So a lot of it is about his facial expressions. And um, I think they've done that really well. They've really utilised the animation of his facial expressions, his body movements, to help portray you know, whatever he's feeling, his emotions at the time. The narrative is very easy to follow, but it's also quite complex at the same time. There are a lot of different things going on, a lot of uncertainties about where Billy will end up by the end of the film and also what will happen to uh, Annabelle. I think Santa had a good role to play. He's only really in it at either end, the beginning and the end. He's not really in it in the middle as much, but he doesn't really need to be. It works without him, but my point there is that it's maybe not the most festive film. It's festive in parts, but it doesn't, you know, have Christmas vibes all of the way through it. So that's just worth bearing in mind. If you are looking for a Christmas animation that will get you in the mood for Christmas, it might do the job, but there are certainly more festive cartoons out there. But nevertheless, I really adored this. I don't remember having seen it as a child. I was five when it came out. If I'd seen it, I feel like it's the kind of film I would have watched again and again and again. I would have absolutely adored it. It's so sweet. I loved animal films. I loved Christmas films. Definitely would have appealed to the young me. But that aside, watching it now as an adult for the first time, it really appeals to the adult me as well. Annabelle's Wish, it's about an hour in length. It's a sweet story. It's unpredictable, well-written, well-developed narrative, beautifully animated, great voice acting, Really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a magical concept with a pretty decent execution. Annabelle's Wish is definitely one that I recommend.